Hey guys, welcome back. This is the King of Do, host of Dune News, bringing you some breaking news. Um, once again, it's a rinse and repeat for Polonex. The site froze up with a tremendous amount of lag, and then immediately when it came back online, a huge dump. A huge dump of both Ripple and Stellar. Um, the markets are freaking out right now. You guys will want to uh, grab some popcorn and enjoy the show. I hope you guys had your stop limits in place to make sure you you kept some of those profits the last few days. It was a nice run with Stellar and Ripple, but if you had your stop losses set up properly, you're free and clear, and it is, wow, just dropping like a rock right now. The site's still frozen. The other thing is, is right now all the boxes are grayed out. Um, a lot of people are reporting in the chat that theirs are as well. It's not just mine, but essentially people are not able to actually buy, sell, trade. Um, none of the buy order data is showing up. None of the market depth is there. Um, it's complete chaos. No one actually knows what's going on. Um, somebody is obviously manipulating the market to a degree or doing an attack, a DDoS attack. Uh, right now this is stellar you can see the big drop off at the exact same time here we have ripple massive drop off so those happened at the exact same time both were pumped to the moon over the last two days and they've come crashing down quite quickly last time this happened it caused a, it caused a lot of panic in the market you saw essentially all altcoins get rattled a little bit uh, and then you saw bitcoin spike be looking for that you may want to go ahead and start moving your money into Bitcoin now um, just to be safe, just to kind of, you know, uh, hedge against the chaos because that's it. We're, we're seeing a, a repeat cycle of, this, of what happened last time. And we just want to make sure that uh, we're prepared. We learned our lessons last time. Um, last one did not affect me personally, but I know it affected a lot of my viewers and a lot of you guys left comments. Um, so this is breaking right now. I mean, this is literally, as you can see on my charts, I'm on a five minute candle right now. Uh, literally in the last 15 minutes, this happened. And um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there panicking. Oh, we just went live again. So we're actually gonna see some movement here in the market and see if the candles respond positively or negatively. So Ripple's uh, looks like it's holding steady for a moment while people try to come back online. I assume it's going to take a while to kind of roll out to everybody to get back online. I'm going to flip over here to um, Ripple again. Oh, this was Ripple, my bad. We're going to go back over to Stellar. And Stellar's popping back up a little bit, so some people were ready to purchase on that downpour there. So during that time, it looks like Digibyte lost a significant amount too. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that. At one point, it was at 200%. Looks like it wasn't that significant. It's just been downtrending since earlier tonight when it was up 200. But anyhow, guys, keep your uh, money secret. Keep it safe, as always. Uh, crazy times. Um, there was a report done by Polinex that came out today, actually. And this is the statement they came out today with um, in regards to the vast, you know, increased in users on their site. Dear Polinex community, when we launched Polinex over three years ago, we had a vision for a vi vibrant blockchain ecosystem supporting many innovative communities. Our goal is to build a trading platform for blockchain technologies that reduce the friction from acquiring tokens for all of these new and exciting blockchain networks. We are humbled to see so much of our vision for the blockchain community being realized. We have never seen such enthusiasm for trading blockchain tokens as we have in the past few months. Since January, we've seen an increase of more than 600% active traders online and regularly process 640% more transactions. So the people actually coming online are trading more than the people before, which is pretty crazy. Like, there's more activity happening. So that's within four months, guys. Uh, this stuff's not a joke as far as, um, you know, I think I think the correlation to users, right? Keep that in mind. Like, the correlation to users and, and the amount of uh, trades happening 
it's a good sign. That means it's not just a few people coming in here and screwing with things. You know, we're not getting pushed around too hard by a bunch of billionaires. Um, the thing I want to bring up is I want to take a look at the uh, capitalizations. Now, this is probably going to be down a little bit because of what just happened, but we did, in fact, break $59 billion. We're going to break $60 billion, guys. It's just, man, It's we've gone from 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 60. Guys, we're going to be at $100 billion soon, and that's, you know, that's finally going to you know kick in that next round of press and who knows what we'll go to we could we could easily shoot to 150 really quick maybe we go to uh, 250 um so cryptocurrency is crazy right now right we just saw um two uh awesome performing altcoins just in instant in an actual instant um just drop 20 30 40 points like it's nothing so just be careful out there guys um but at the same time make sure you got your skin in the game make sure you're diversified properly make sure you're keeping it secret and you're keeping it safe backing it up on the cold storage um i apologize to everyone who was affected by this um i'm sorry on behalf of polonex i don't represent them at all i just feel bad um you know you got to realize that these polonex dudes they're all billionaires whoever's running it so these are probably people normal people with real jobs trying to help and try to actually fix the problem i think that the statement they released is a good sign that they're not too far removed their wealth hasn't removed them from the situation so um I don't think Polonix is trying to scam anybody. There's just billions and billions of more dollars to be made by these guys, so there's no reason to do that. Um, they can stick around and take care of a lot of people in their lifetime and do a lot more um, if they you know, don't scam us at this point. They're making more money on our trades over time. So um, I feel pretty good about the site, but at the same time, um, I'm, I'm hoping that they invest properly and get some better systems online to support the influx. I'm sure that no one could have predicted this percentage increase. So give them a little bit of a break on that. Um, but at the same time, I understand why some of you guys want to sue them and take, uh, do class action lawsuits on against them. And um, you have a right to feel that way. Uh, definitely understand it. Uh, you know, I actually kind of support you in that way. You know, I... I don't know who's right or wrong, but, um, you know, hopefully you guys, uh, whatever is right or wrong, justice um, is done at the end of the day. So, um, anyhow, guys, that is a breaking news update right there. Um, I'm happy to bring you guys these type of updates. These are fun and exciting to watch for me. Um, keeps, keeps me going. Um, wow, ripples down quite a bit as you can see here we're getting a little bit of consolidation um but man we just wiped out a run that started um you know almost seven and a half hours ago on ripple and here we've got stellar um continuing to uh decline a little bit here uh after the fact so there it is guys two times now two times I hope you you guys are doing the things that I'm asking you to do. Set your stop losses so that when this happens, you're good to go. Now, like always, when there's fear, there's opportunity. So get back out there, guys. Find the opportunities. Let me know what you believe is a good opportunity. Um, I have some good opportunities. Um, you know, I really like NEM right now. Um, it's down quite a bit. It is one of the biggest cryptocurrencies in capitalization, and it just gets no love. It reminds me of Ethereum about uh, a year and a half ago. Um, the, the team that's working on it, they don't really care about anything but working on it. It's a good one, I think, for a long term. Um, it may be, if, if you have your portfolio split up into different, um, you know, long term, short term, um, this one would be a long-term opportunity. Um, I think people who are buying nodes in NEM um, are going to be very, very happy in a year and two years. Um, however, um, you know, is it going to be worth 
you know, a dollar in a year or a hundred dollars, you know, is it, is it, you know, once Ethereum is, you know, in the hundreds, is, is this going to be, is NEM going to be a hundred dollars? I don't know. Um, but I'd like to know what you guys think, but NIM, I guess what I'm trying to say is NIM is my recommendation to be researched. I think that it goes, um, goes without any love. It does require a lot of research though. And I think that's part of it. They, they don't do any marketing. Um, and, uh, it's sitting there doing its thing and it actually is pretty cool. And so check that one out. Um, Gollum. I can't believe Gollum is down 12% today. They just released, like, a working prototype, like, tryout Gollum. Like, you can actually send a 3D rendering to the supercomputer. It spits it back. Completed. It's really confusing to me, guys. Um, you know, again, you guys, you know, make sure you guys invest for the long haul on some of these and just don't look because days like today make you wonder and make you panic and stress but um there's nothing to stress about if you're properly diversified you probably made a bunch of money today um no matter what <laughs> you know if you own a little ripple and a little stellar and a little ethereum even though ethereum's down you'd still be fine if you own a little golem you're still fine so uh, consider your portfolios, guys. Don't go all in on one currency. Um, you know. And you want to be diversified. Right? If you were diversified a month ago and you just happened to have 200 bucks in Ripple, you know, how much would that be today? That'd be like, uh, what? $22,000 or something like that? I don't know. No, $2,200. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, guys. Be diversified and uh, just be safe out there. So that's it, guys. I'm King Adu, and uh, just brought you some breaking news. And um, as always, may the force be with you.